Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and I'm your Vice President of Welfare at the Students' Union. Um, this is my first blog post just to let you know what sort of things I've been up to in the first sort of five, six weeks of me being in post. So we've all just sort of been getting used to our roles at this point and um, getting a start on our main objectives for the year, which I'm going to tell you a bit about. Um, so one of my main objectives is to teach people about the issues surrounding consent, because I think this is something that goes it's pretty misunderstood at universities and um, it's just something that I want to make an effort for people to understand better. So as part of this, I've been pushing out the fact that at Lees Beckett, we have a zero tolerance policy to sexual harassment. So I've been pushing that out a bit and getting some materials down for that, um, just to make sure that people know about this and um, to make sure that it's enforced. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot around that and you'll be seeing some of that stuff around uni soon. Um, also, I've been working really hard on a workshop that we're going to be giving to a lot of people about consent and what it is. Um, that's me, um, the Women's Officer Amy and a few volunteers are going to be giving this workshop at the minute to union staff. Um, halls reps, um, a lot of people who work at the university and then soon some students should be getting these workshops as well so I'm hoping they'll be really helpful. Um, another thing is I've been working with student-led support groups which are called Rethink and Student Minds um, who just support people with student mind supports, um, students who have um, sort of a weird relationship with food or a strange relationship with food. Doesn't You don't have to have been diagnosed with an eating disorder but it just if you feel that you might have a bit of a strange relationship with food and eating behaviours then you can go along for support and it's really helpful and then Rethink helps um, anyone who's got any feelings of stress, anxiety, um, low mood, um, depression and any sort of low mood they can help you with um, so I've been working with those groups to try and get those pushed out a bit more as well make sure students know that they're there for them. Um, also I've actually been working the last, it's only been the last two days but it's been a lot of work um, there was a big issue, especially on the freshers group on Facebook, of people whose accommodation were asking for sometimes thousands in rent before people were getting their student loans, which is obviously unacceptable because how are you supposed to pay that when you don't have the money yet? So I've been contacting these places and um, getting some things in place to help students. Um, if, that, if you're in that situation, um, if, and you haven't seen the post on the freshers group or you're not really sure what to do please get in contact with me because I should have um, directions and ways that you you can you can get around this and figure it out because um, it's just unacceptable to be ex expected to pay this when you don't have your student loan yet so yeah I've been sorting that out and if you're in that situation please do contact me because we can get we can get you help and we can get that sorted um, so yeah those are sort of the main things I've been doing at the minute there's been a lot of other stuff behind the scenes as well and just small little projects I've been working on, but those are the absolute main things that you should know about. Um, yeah, obviously the fresher schedule is out now, so I hope you're all really excited about that. And we can't wait to see you when you get here. Bye.